Hello, welcome to English with Jazz. Today we're here at the beautiful, gorgeous Mascahan Botanical Gardens in Reunion Island. And today we're going to look at countable and uncountable nouns. Objects in English are either countable or uncountable. Let me explain exactly what I mean by that. Countable nouns are simply nouns that we can count. Let me show you an example. I love birds. My favorite bird is a tropic bird. Bird is a countable noun. It can be singular, bird, or plural, birds. Countable nouns can be used with numbers. For example, we can say one bird, ten birds, or hundred birds. Here are a few more examples of countable nouns. I can see two beautiful trees. How many visitors do you have every day? Now that we've covered countable nouns, let's move on to the next section. Uncountable nouns are nouns that we can't count. Let me show you an example. I love rice. I eat rice at every meal. Rice is an uncountable noun. It only has one form, rice. Uncountable nouns cannot be used with numbers. For example, we can't say one rice, ten rice, hundred rice. Here are a few more examples of uncountable nouns. The water is very still today. I listen to music while I work. Would you like some peace and quiet? Looks like you've mastered the difference between countable and uncountable nouns. So if you're ready, let's move on to the next section. A and an can be used with singular countable nouns, just like an apple, a flower, a unicorn. Singular countable nouns cannot be used alone. You always have to put a word before it. You can put a or an, or you can put a possessive adjective. Let me show you what I mean. For example, can I have an apple? Where is your unicorn? You can, however, use plural countable nouns alone. I love mangoes. Smartphones are quite expensive. All right, looks like we've got that covered. Let's move on. Before we continue, just a little side note. This episode was made possible with the generous donations by you, our contributors. So if you'd like to help out, please click the link and choose to donate as little as one euro per month. Let's continue. A and N cannot usually be used with uncountable nouns. We can't say a er milk, a er water, a er grass. We can, however, say a pint of milk, a glass of water, a field of grass. Uncountable nouns can be used alone. That means without an article like a er or an and without a possessive adjective. Let me show you what I mean. Would you like more rice? Oh no, I have grass in my hair. Okay, that's done. Let's move on to the next section. Some and any can be used with plural countable nouns. For example, would you like some mangoes? Have you got any flip-flops? We can also use many and few with plural countable nouns. The garden has many footpaths. They have a few postcards on sale. That was easy. Some and any can be used with plural countable nouns. For example, would you like some rice? Have you got any money? We can also use much and little with uncountable nouns. They didn't have much time. I have a little rum left in my glass. I hope that's clear for you. Thanks for watching English with Jazz. Don't forget to click on the links to try our free quizzes. And also please like and comment on our videos if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. A or an. Yeah, yeah. Count not. Yeah. Actually, however, however, however. However, however, I can't say however. Can we say another word?